Today we're talking about the DJI Avata and specifically how to use it with a remote controller and how to get it connected. Now when I bought my Avata it actually came with this, the DJI motion controller. However, you can use it with a standard remote such as this one here, the DJI FPV Remote 2. Just to be clear, the only remote that is compatible with the Avata drone is this remote which is the FPV Remote 2 which originally came with the FPV drone. It cannot be used with the black FPV remote which comes with the digital FPV system unfortunately and if you don't have one of these you're going to need to go out and buy it. Now if you have bought this remote you are going to need to do some things before it will actually connect to the drone and I'm going to walk you through that in today's video. If you find this video interesting please do let me know in the comment section. If you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content like this please do check out the links to my Patreon in the description. It is only through the support of you am I able to keep making independent content like this. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's take a look at what you need to do to get this remote working with this drone. Okay, so if you've bought this remote controller separately, you may be finding that it will not connect to the DJI Avata drone. Now there is a reason for that, and that is that the firmware on the Remote 2 needs to be updated before you can actually connect it to the drone. However, you can't actually do this via the DJI Fly app, and you need to do it via the DJI Assistant for FPV. This is a PC or Mac application you can download from the DJI website. You download it, install it on your computer. You then connect this remote via the USB C port here on the bottom to your PC, it should show up in Assistant 2 and you need to then update it to the latest firmware that is showing available. Now it is important that when you download the Assistant it is the right one. It is DJI Assistant 2 DJI FPV series. I will put a direct link to this in the description of the website. Once you then have it installed you simply connect the USB-C into the remote controller, turn it on, and what you will then see is it actually come up, connect, and then it will allow us to see what the firmware version currently is on the remote controller, but then also upgrade it to the later version as well. Now the current latest version at the time of me making this video is version 02.00.0200. This is the version your remote controller needs to be on before it will connect to the new Avata drone. So in here you can see that I am already on this version but if it says upgrade here you will simply need to follow that process, upgrade the firmware and then you will be able to move on and bind the remote to the Avata. Once the firmware update's done, it's then time to bind the remote to the drone and the goggles. Now, to do this, you simply need to make sure everything is powered up and turned on. So I'm gonna turn on my drone. Once the aircraft is turned on, you then press and hold the power on button on the back for about five to 10 seconds until the drone starts to beep. Like that. We then press and hold the power button on the remote controller whilst it's turned on till it starts to beep and then you press the bind button on the goggles till that starts to beep. Everything will link up and connect and you can now see that we've got solid lights on the remote, we've got solid lights on the back of the drone, and if I take a look through the goggles, everything is working as expected. So the important step in all of this is to make sure that you've updated the firmware on the FPV Remote 2 before trying to bind it to the drone via the Assistant 2 for FPV series. Once this is bound, you can then use it to be able to fly in manual mode, but you can still switch back to the motion controller if you want to. You don't need to rebind. You can simply swap between the two depending on which one you turn on when the drone connects. Now, if you found this video interesting and useful specifically, please do let me know in the comment section. If you'd like to support us to keep making content like this, please do check out the links in the description to my Patreon. It is only through the support of my Patreons am I able to keep making content like this on the channel. We bought all of this ourselves. We were not sent it by DJI and I would not have been able to do that without the support of all of my Patreons. So I want to say a massive thank you to everyone there as well as the people who have donated via Buy Me A Coffee as well. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.